This is Tim Apicello with Think Tech Hawaii, and we're here with Steve. Steve, I'd like to ask you about the Memorial Day weekend. And usually it represents the beginning of summer, but as you know, it's a very solemn uh, holiday. And do you think the holiday still has relevance? To some people it does. Um, to me, I remembered my dad. He was in the military, so uh, to me it does. Seems like a lot of people are having picnics and, you know, doing all the things that summer represents. And, you know, that's a good thing. And, you know, that's all right. But do you think that people are taking the time to really sit down with the meaning of the holiday and, and try to reflect on those that gave their lives for this country and through whether it be the Revolutionary War, Civil War, all the other conflicts in between? Uh, do you think people actually take the time to reflect that? Unfortunately, I think they don't. Um, these parties that you say and, and picnics, um, they're just there to meet family and friends, and they don't reflect on the past nowadays. So do you think the holidays lost its significance at all? Yes, it has, quite a bit. Anything we could do to repair that? Um, no, I think the past is the past, and pretty much everybody's moved on. You think it's time to come up with a new holiday or keep the, keep the Memorial Day holiday in existence? Um, well, I worked, so it doesn't really matter <laughs> about a holiday or not. Right. Um, for a lot of people, it's just another day off for them. Is, do you think the Memorial Day holiday is losing its meaning and its significance to most Americans? Absolutely. In what way? I mean, how are we losing its Well, significance? I don't think people uh, have a, an appreciation for history like they used to. As a young, I, I taught in college for a number of years, and young people know nothing about the Second World War. They know nothing about Pearl Harbor. They don't know who Dwight Eisenhower was. They don't know who MacArthur was. It's really kind of sad. Well, it's sad and disconcerting because our thousands of people gave their lives for this country. Absolutely, absolutely. I had an uncle on Iwo Jima, and uh, a number of people I knew were in the Second World War. I was too young. I was about nine, I guess, when, when the war started, and the uh, Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. Well, given the sad state of affairs, where, and I, I'm almost starting to agree with you, not quite, but I'm almost there, do you think it's time to change the holiday or, or, or try to give it a new significance and meaning somehow? I think give it a new significance and meaning. Uh, you see, this, we just came from Ross. It's full of people. It's, it took her almost 20 minutes to get through <laughs> the cashier. I think the so, older people maybe think more of the fallen heroes than some of the younger people because we've known a little more of the history. We're on the cruise ship and the first announcement I heard this morning was today is Memorial Day. It's a day of mourning for the lost heroes. Yeah, it's a bit of an oxymoron to say happy Memorial Day. It, ab absolutely. Yeah, uh, I always find that a little disconcerting when I hear that. I hope you have a happy Memorial we're, Day. And it's we're from San Antonio, Texas and of course at the Alamo is famous there. And we're reminded every day of the sacrifices that people made because if people hadn't come from Tennessee, if people hadn't come from Kentucky, there wouldn't be a Texas, there wouldn't be a California, there wouldn't be a Western United States. They've helped to give us the life we have today. That's right. You know, we have one of the longest wars running in the history of the United States right now, and yes. you know, in Iraq and yes. Afghanistan. You would think that those generations that are, you know, grew up with this and are serving in those two conflicts, um, that Memorial Day weekend would still have the impact and significance is had for many, many years. It's, it's very unfortunate. It seems that the, it's a, so many people are distant from the reality that's going on. Every day people are dying in, in those countries you mentioned, and yet it's we've just become, I don't know. Many people don't pay attention to it. Yes. Yeah, it's just everyday occurrence and no one pays any attention to Reggie? it. Reggie, what, do you think the Memorial Day holiday still has the meaning and significance it once had? Well, to me, Memorial Day is, uh, is really, uh, um, really honoring vote veterans who actually died. That's my, I'm a veteran, so I know what Memorial Day is, but we kind of, in a sense, we... Tony's World uh, um, advertises too much more of a day to just uh, family or a day to just go out and barbecue. But a lot of times people forget what Memorial Day is. 
thinking it's a day for veterans, but in, in actuality, is those that, you know, those who actually gave their lives for uh, a, a very solemn occasion yet yeah. we have a lot of commercials that uh, you know all the department stores and all the hardware stores are having their Memorial Day sale and it just somehow it just seems like um, people have lost the true meaning of Memorial Day holiday yeah I, I do agree with that you know I'm not I'm not gonna say it's it's a good opportunity for for businesses and uh, the business sector to Get get the opportunity because it's a it's a holiday. Everyone's off. Everyone usually is time for them to spend time with family, um, and it's the perfect opportunity. I, I'm not gonna say that's a good that's a bad thing, but I think as a country or as a community, we need to better understand what Memorial Day is. And you're a veteran. Did did the significance of the holiday come up in your social circles over this weekend? Um, yes, you know, um, I, I'm, I still go. I had the opportunity to go yesterday and just go down to the punch bowl. I didn't go to the ceremony, but I just went out there and just, you know, just spend some time and just, you know, look at some, some of the sites. Of, just, to, just to be there with other folks within that. that doesn't have to be punch bowl anywhere. There's other, um, there's also the state cemetery as well. But it's more of me, my thing that I do on my own. Whether it's Memorial Day or Veterans Day, it's just something that I chose to do. Um, I mean, my family sometimes come with me, but it's, it's my own personal choice to do it. So the holiday has significance in your heart and for the day. Yeah, it does. Well, I want to thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with Think Tech Hawaii. Oh, thank you. Mahalo. Thank you.